about rolling at my gym. I've been training in this gym for a year now, and I'd say it make it. Um, I'd say it's made up of about half white belts, half upper belts. I found I always love rolling with the upper belts because they're slow and controlled. But whenever I, this is gonna be associated with something we wanted to talk about. Whenever I roll with other white belts, I'm constantly fear of getting injured, even when they're the same skill level or higher. They go hard and they're so aggressive. My question is how to, uh, how is this thought out of my, out of white belts? I caught after, uh, I caught on after rolling with higher belts and mimicking them. And also after my first competition where I realized the amount of energy I used in a single roll isn't suitable. But is this something that I should be emphasized more, that should be emphasized more in the gym? Currently, it's never been talked, it's never talked about. I think the main problem is that white belts just don't know any better. Should I talk to the kind of black belt about my concerns? I just had always, uh, I just hate always feeling so apprehensive before I, before a roll. It takes uh, away a lot of fun for me in the long run. So he's basically yeah, talking about white belts being aggressive. Yeah. And I would continue this with, we have one, um, one girl in our gym that she got injured. She got injured while she, when she rolled with a white belt and it was too aggressive. And that happens sometimes. Even we, if, even if, it doesn't matter how much we try to control it, it just happens in every gym. Yeah. Okay. And how, how do you take it out of them? How do you take it out of them? Well, it's yeah, me. man, like these, I'm sure like that many people, um, are familiar with that. Like every gym, like this, this happened a lot mm. for me, the best way to make at least is a little bit better because it's hard to control, right? It's like uh, we're dealing with human beings and yeah. everybody is different. Uh, is the coach must be into it, mm. you know? So what I like to do is like I see a white belt and I see the white belt going aggressive with a girl. Yeah. Next row he goes with me. Yeah, you got to... And yeah, I'm gonna show him like the best way to see like me. You want to be aggressive, there will be always someone being more aggressive than you and they're going to be like smashing. So you have to understand from the beginning that you you roll with a girl is the same way that you treat a girl like outside the mat. Yeah. You have to use that as an opportunity. Say, mm -hmm. man, like go roll with me. You know, like let's say this guy, white belt, mm -hmm. roll with other grass, white belt, super aggressive. Mm -hmm. And now I have a chance to roll with a girl. Amazing, because now mm. I can just rely on technique. I can be more flowy. I can be relaxed. I don't need to use my strength. I can just mm. flow, you know. So that's the, the best way to, to do, like when you roll with a girl, you know. Yeah. You want to roll with a girl, man. I love to roll with the girls because it's mm. it's so more technical. It's a, it's a lot of fun, you know. Mm. It's way more jujitsu happening. Yeah. With another white girl, like it's just like, a fight, there's no jiu-jitsu, they're both blind, like yeah. two bulls shocking their heads, like bam, 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 bam. Yeah. And it's like not much jiu-jitsu, it's just aggressiveness, yeah. you know? Yeah. So like I think the the whole and the job of the coach is being very into, and let's say you see the aggressive going like out of control, you just stop. I say, hey guys, put some water in your face. I think you're going too crazy here, you know? <laughs> Before they get injured, yeah. you know? And you have to guide the guys, say, hey, look, two options that's gonna happen here. Or you're gonna injure him, or you're gonna injure yourself. Mm. We don't want any of the options, right? Yeah. So calm down, man. Hold your horses. Yeah. You don't need to go crazy. We're not, we're not in the world championship here, man. Yeah. So we don't need to prove anything to anyone. You know, yeah. your white belt, you start learning this, just chill, just relax, you know? Mm -hmm. And usually these guys more aggressive, mm. like as a coach, what I like to do, I try to put them with more higher belts, and less with the other white belts, you know? Because I, I, I think by rolling with the white belt, the higher belts, start to teach him how to be humble. Yeah. Because they're gonna get submitted many times, and when you get humble, you start to get more relaxed, mm -hmm. and you start to chill a little bit more, and, and get less anger, yeah. you know? You, you also get, like, they would also get submitted, and not with a lot of effort. Exactly. Like, so you're gonna see that, you're gonna see this yeah. happening. Um, for example, Carol, she she, um, she she got pregnant, she had injuries, so she was like a long time, like a little bit out of the journey. Yeah. But Carol was always my, 
my welcoming <laughs> to the big big guys and aggressive because yeah. yeah. that's amazing you know like you get a guy like massive guy i don't know 100 kilo super mm. strong come from rugby or come mm. from power lifting or whatever yeah. the guy's massive come in here and have a row with my girl <laughs> man the guy's gonna be like what oh my god like two things can happen one thing you're gonna be like man i need to learn this thing mm -hmm. and i want to get into jiu-jitsu straight away when it's mm -hmm. like how the girl just play with him you yeah know? and the other thing he kind of have his ego super like hurt they're gonna be like oh man i'm not doing this anymore <laughs> I'm, I'm so strong i always think i was tough and i was a girl kicking my ass you know like but that's jiu-jitsu man yeah. this is all about like the small guy beating the bigger guys, the girl beating a, a guy or a kid, very good kid, being a grown man guy, you know, like, and this is like, a, it's very common. Yeah. So I think once as a white belt, you see this thing happening and you see this atmosphere, how the things work, you just think, ah, oh, man, you know what? I think I'm doing this wrong. Mm. I should chew a little bit more. I've, I know that takes time. It's mm. not like this. It's not like mm. a switch. Yeah. But if the coach is always like uh, pragging, like and saying these kind of things, you know, and just like a mantra, you know, guys, be gentle. Don't hurt yourself. Avoid injuries. You mm. don't, you don't need to go crazy here. Yeah. We're not in the world championship. Just relax. Man. We are here mm. to learn. We're here to become better. And also, if you hurt your training partner today, you're not going to be training with him tomorrow. So you're not yeah. going to have a training partner tomorrow. So you need, we need each other here. Yeah. So what is the point to go crazy and hurt someone? Yeah. So I think that it's the main thing is the, is the, is the professor. The yeah. professor has to, has to be into it, you know? So that's why I like the idea of like, you know, when I see the white belts, I want to be always watching your roles, you know? Mm. Always like looking and, and, come, in, and come, like, come here, have, have, let's have a chat, you know? Mm. And be into it because... They don't know. No. They don't know. They need someone to guide them. Yeah. They're not going to just like, ah, leave them there. They're going to learn by themselves. It doesn't work like that. You need to guide a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think this is, this is the main thing for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so advice. Go to your coach. Okay. That's, that's all for advice. We're getting to the end. Okay. We get to stupid questions. Okay.